Hello everyone, I am Muskan from N Division Team 2. The need statement assigned to us is Ball Launcher. Our project title is Miran Ball Launcher. The other members of Team 2 are Harshita, Niranjan, Naveen. The project is completed under guidance of Radhika Ma'am. Problem definition comprises of some objectives, constraints and functions which are based on requirements specified by user. Objectives Semi-automatic, portable, user-friendly, safe and lightweight machine. Functions Launching angle changes. Ball launches in every 5 seconds. Single ball launch. Constraints Sponge ball should be used. Machine must occupy space less than 2 cubic meter. Ball launches at 4 to 6 feet range. Cost should not exceed 3000 rupees. It should be ready within 90 days. Ball launches in every 5 seconds. Single ball launches at a time. Function tree and functional clustering. We have four main functions for our ball launcher. Hold the ball, launch the ball, indication, casing. Hold the ball has two subfunctions. Load the balls, hold the ball. Launch the ball has three subfunctions. Change launching angle, change the direction, provide kinetic energy to the ball. Indication is shown in three ways. On state, availability of the ball, off state. Casing is done for outer body, handle to launch, controller base. Subsystems identified are holding unit, launching unit, indication unit, casing unit. After identifying all the functions and making a morphological chart for the same, we have generated four concepts. Concept 1. It is based on the mechanism of two DC motors which are attached to two wheels that launch the ball. Concept 2. It is based on the mechanism of rotating motor attached to a pedal that rotates 360 degrees, hits the ball and launches it. It is based on the mechanism of air compressor that sucks the air, cr creates pressure and launches the ball. Concept 4. It is based on the spring mechanism. The spring pulls launching pad at a greater force. The ball is launched here. Keeping in mind objectives from the problem definition and comp Comparing the four concepts by making a puck chart, we conclude the best design idea is that of the concept 4. Virtual Implementation 3D model of entire system So these are the 3D models of our project. This is holding unit. This is launching unit. This is indication unit and this is base so our main concentration is on final assembly firstly the holding unit the holding unit consists of locking system in which a toy servo is used to lock and unlock the launching pad there is a launching pad to launch the ball this is the holding cup to hold the ball and uh, here we placed an IR sensor to sense the presence of ball. This vertical frame is angle setting frame which is connected to servo 2 and it is operated by the potentiometer that is present here. Now the launching unit. Launching unit consists of servo 3 which helps in stretching of spring that is connected to the launching pad. Now indication unit. It consists of two LEDs. Green LED indicates that the machine is on or off. Whereas the red LED indicates the presence and absence of ball. There is a launching button or launching key used in the launching process and uh, this is potentiometer to control servo 2 for angle setting the holding unit and launching unit are connected through 
material interaction by spring. Holding unit and indication unit are connected through data and spatial interaction whereas the launching unit and indication unit are connected through data and spatial interaction. All three subunits are connected to the base through material interaction. So this is the front view and this is the side view and this is the back view and finally the top view. Circuit diagram of entire system. It consists of one Arduino Mega, three servo motors, one button, one air sensor, one potentiometer, two LEDs, green and red, one breadboard, resistors, jumper wires, and connector cable. Flowchart of the entire system. When power is supplied, the process starts. Green LED. When it is off the machine is off the process stops when green led close machine is on ir sensor sends a message when ir is not equal to one red led close that shows the absence of the ball the process stops when ir gives message equal to one red led is off that shows the presence of ball servo 1 rotates 0 to 90 and it gets locked servo 2 sets the angle if key sends message not equal to 1, delay of 500 is given. If key sends message equal to 1, servo 3 rotates 0 to 90, servo 1 rotates 90 to 0, it unlocks and the ball launches, then servo 3 rotates 90 to 0. The loop continues till uh, red LED is on and balls are absent, then finally the process stops. Bill of material for the entire system. We require Arduino Mega, servo motors, power supply, button, resistors, IR sensor, potentiometer, connector cable, breadboard, LED, jumper wire pack, foam sheet and acrylic sheet of different dimensions to make different parts of the machine. Motor sizing and battery sizing. First, motor sizing is done for servo 1, which is used in launching pad. Vo voltage drawn by it is 6 volt, current 0.36 ampere. It works totally for 3 hours. Power consumed is 1.08 amps hours. Total torque required is 1.7 kg centimeter. So, therefore, servo used is SG90. Servo 2 is used to change angle. Voltage drawn is 4.8 volt, current 1 ampere. It works for 3 hours, so power consumption is 3 amps hours. So here the total torque is uh, 0.0588 Newton meter and the servo required is MG995. Servo 3 is used for moment of the spring. Voltage drawn is 4.8 volt, current 1 ampere. This also works for 3 hours and total power consumed is 3 amps hours. Total torque here is 0 0.1103 Newton meter. So therefore the servo used is MG995. Function specification of entire system. Hold the ball. Cup shape holder of diameter 3.5 cm and locked by servo 1. Locking. A toy servo SG90 is programmed to lock the launching pad. Change the launching angle. Set the angle by rotating servo 2 in range 30 to 90 degrees. Provide kinetic energy to the ball. Stretching of spring by servo 3 provides required force to launch the ball. Indication. Machine is on. Green light turns on. Indication. Machine is off. Green light turns off. Indication. Availability of balls. Red light turns on when ball is absent and turns off when ball is present. Modeling and simulation. This is the final circuit of our project. 
it consists of Arduino board, one green LED to indicate that the machine is on or off. If it consists of red LED to indicate that the presence or absence of ball, one potentiometer, one IR sensor, one key or a button, and three servos. Servo 1 is for locking and unlocking the launching pad. Servo 2 is for angle setting and servo 3 is for stretching the spring for launching. Now we will start with the simulation. The IR sensor input is taken from serial monitor. Both LEDs are glowing indicates that the machine is on and there is a absence of ball. If we enter one in the serial monitor that is presence of ball, red LED should turn off and servo 1 should rotate from 0 to 90 degree to lock the launching pad. Now it is asking to set the angle and press the launching button. Now angle can be set by the potentiometer which is connected to servo 2. Now I am setting the angle and if we press the button servo 3 should rotate from 0 to 90 degree and servo 1 should rotate from 90 degree to 0 degree to unlock and launching takes place and servo 3 should come back to its initial position. So now I am pressing the button servo 3 stretches the spring servo 1 unlocks launching takes place servo 3 come back to its initial position so again the red LED turns on indicates that the absence of ball now for the second time you can directly press the launching button with the same angle with that of the first launch now I am entering one the servo one locks now I am directly entering Pressing the launching button, servo 3 stretches the spring, servo 1 unlocks, launching takes place, servo 3 come back to its initial position. The red LED turns on, indicates that the absence of ball. Thank you.